Hello guys, namaste, good morning and so nice to see you back. So today I prepared a special class for you. We will do a lot of stretching and a lot of tension release. So this practice is good for the morning or the evening, whenever you want. And if you feel tired, if you feel lack of energy, and if you feel you cannot push more into the strengthening exercise, but you want to do some exercise, you want to get energy, you want to get some relaxation, this is the best practice you can do. So let's get to your mat and let's start. And let me know how you feel after the practice. If you have any periods or any you know, sickness, it's also good to do this practice because it's not just for all levels, but for all conditions. Okay, so I will be as careful as possible. So come to your mat, sit down. If you need a pillow, you can sit on the pillow. Close your eyes and we will start with a little meditation, conscious breathing. Close your eyes. Connect to your breath and observe how you inhale, inviting more energy into your body, into your mind. And as you exhale, release all the tension down to the floor. Inhaling light, energy, healing to your maximum. And exhale through the mouth, release all the tension down. Keep going. Inhale 100% of your capacity. And exhale, release and relax, keeping your spine straight. Observe how the breath is coming up. Inhale. And as you exhale, the breath is going down. Inhale. And exhale. Now keeping your eyes closed. You bring your awareness to the third eye, the point between your eyebrows. And you visualize what is your deepest heart desire. You want to get healthy, you want to get back to work, you want to be at your best, or do you want just to get promotion at your work? It can be anything. And just visualize that it's happening to you right now, it's already here. And visualize how happy, how grateful you will be once it's here in your life, in your material life. You can feel some excitement and just joy, celebration. And feel such a relief at your heart. Now you send your intention, your dream to the sky. Usually send it to the sky, up to the stars so that the higher forces will hear you and guide you. And slowly open your eyes. So let's start with a stretch. Inhale, you interlace your fingers, you bring your arms up. And let's have a nice, nice stretch. And now you bring one palm to the side, to the left side, and you stretch the right arm over your head, all the way up. If you're more flexible, you can bring your elbow to the floor and stretch even more. And just stay here with deep breathing as you stretch more and more. So you always have two options. Passive stretch when you just hang your arm here and active stretch when you reach out more and more and you feel it's so, so powerful and release. Now changing the side. So now stretch to the right side, left arm over your head. You 
good for our Catholic center. So now we will do seated rights. One minute to the left, yeah? One minute to the left. Close your eyes. If you're new to Kundalini Yoga, I will give you a very short instruction. But today we will do Vinyasa Yoga, the normal kind of yoga. I just given you warm up exercises, you know, to get your energy at the highest level because it all comes with your breath. So you bring your palms to your knees and you start grinding movement. So it's not you know rolling movement, it's grinding from here, coming from your navel point, eyes closed, and as if you press with your tummy in when you exhale, inhale, moving forward. So try to, it's like a belly dance, you know, you have to feel all your tummy, all your waistline, everything here. So let's do it together. Doing great, try to inhale to the maximum, exhale. Inhale as you visualize more energy coming in. Your breath is the vehicle of life into your body. Breathe more. And a few more times. And now inhale to the center, squeeze, extend your spine out, squeeze your feet and hold. Suspend your breath and go deeper and deeper in your heart. Once you're ready, you can exhale, release, and same movement to the left side. But this side, this time you engage our chest, our elbows, our shoulders. So try to do your best, working with the upper body. Inhale as you open up your chest to the front. And exhale, rounding your spine, squeezing your While you're doing this, you visualize that with your breath, you're strengthening your aura, you're drawing circles, intensifying, feeling your electromagnetic field. And now inhale to the center, open your chest, expand your spine and squeeze your hips, sending the energy all the way up to the sky. Hold, squeeze, activating your kundalini energy. Energy of life, sexual energy, energy of creation. And release, open your eyes. So now we will do one more warming up with the breathing, which is the best thing, the best, most efficient way to get your energy back. So you will feel it, just do with me, trust me. So if you cannot sit in the kneeling position, you can always take a pillow or a block. This is just for you to see. If you find, sit on your heels, interlace your fingers and Index fingers are straight, and we will do very powerful breath. But here the emphasis on the exhale. So if you are sick, 
or if you're angry or any negative emotions you experience in your life right now, this is how you can release them. You can cut them into two, you can destroy them. Having your arms straight, elbows locked, index fingers straight like a drum, you know, like a pistol. So let's do, I will show you first and then I will guide you, okay? So you can keep your eyes open or closed here, it doesn't matter. So this is your knife and you can do as sharply as you can, as you want, all your anger, all your resentment, everything what feels you divided, lonely and weak, this is what you want to destroy right now. We'll do this for two minutes and maybe start with your eyes closed. So let's start. If you want to keep it open and visualize something that you want to get rid of, do it. And you can go as fast as you can. Very powerful exhale. And as you exhale, again, you try to squeeze your tummy in. And we're halfway done, keep going. Keep going, do your best. Even when I stop doing this, you keep going. I just want to explain you something that your breath gives you the strength. So use your breath right now to get more strength to fight your enemies, your inner enemies, first of all. All the anger, all the resentment, all the lack of trust, all the doubts you have in your life. Just cut it and let go. And last 10 seconds, as fast as you can, go! And breathe, do inhale up, squeeze, extend, squeeze your hips, extend your spine, your arms, eyes closed, and hold your breath. Reaching higher and higher to the source of energy, light and light. And exhale, release, slowly bring your arms down to your knees and just stay here a little bit longer. Well done with you. And we will do one more very beautiful exercise before we move to the stretching it came to my mind because you want to release something heavy and you feel now the energy is very tense in the world so i will give you one more exercise that helps me and not only me it's three minutes and it's done so your mood comes from here from zero to 100 to 1000 so what we're gonna do you sit down in the easy position like this, or you know, if you need a pillow, get your pillow. And we will be shaking the upper body, the arms, in the most chaotic way. So how it works, you can close your eyes, and if you have this emotion stuck in your body, I will just show you, okay, what I do, but you can do what you like. So it's like, you know, like almost like boxing, but at the same time shaking your arms into different directions. I will put the music on and we will start. So let's do three minutes and you put all your energy just, you know, like, 
something in on you and you want to get rid of this. So this is the movement and let's do this. Let's start. And of course, powerful breath. Go as fast as you can. And especially here in front of your heart, just cleanse it. The breath is very powerful and very fast. Like almost breath of fire. Keep going, keep shaking, keep dancing. Feel that your body is finally free. And don't look to me, just be on your own. This is your process, your practice. You're doing great, more fun. And if you're angry on yourself right now, if you feel this anger, first of all, on yourself that you haven't done something, or you've done something that you regret, fight this anger because there is nothing wrong with your, with your actions, you know, you have to accept yourself and just fight, fight with your inner demon that doesn't give you a chance to be happy, you know, to do what you need to do. Just fight it right now and you can do some boxing and everything. And we have one more minute, so now do your best. Put all the tension, all the energy into this. Keep going, keep moving, a little bit left. Keep breathing, intensify it with your breath, with beautiful release of energy, this, you know, reverse, that's and reverse one exercise. When you allow this old energy to die, a new energy to come in. So just do the best you can by shaking. You know, shaking, throwing your arms all around. And last 10 seconds. <laughs> and now inhale, squeeze your arms up. Squeeze your hips, hold the breath, and slowly release your arms down. Keep your eyes closed and stay here for a few moments. Feel the difference. Go deeper and allow your body to relax. And now we're slowly moving to our beautiful vinyasa sequence. So good for the stretching, so good for the body, the flowing of prana. So let's start with the downward facing dog. So you come to the triangle pose, your hips up, heels down, head down. 
and you stay and you breathe. You choose your own variation of breath. It can be breath of fire or deep gadget breath. The longer the better. The longer the better. And every exhale, you press in your heels a little bit down. Press in your palms. Well done. And now right leg up. So it can be like this, 90 degrees. It can be 120 degrees or even more. Press the left heel to the floor and try to keep your legs straight, beautiful and strong. A little bit more, just breathe. And two. And one. Bring your right leg forward, straight away to warrior one. So here your right leg is bent, left leg is straight, heels on the floor, and your arms are all the way up. Keep your eyes closed and stretch up. Visualize white energy coming from the sky to the thumbs and all the way down to your body. Well done, now arms open, straight and forward, and you try to build a straight line from your left heel to your fingertips. And this is an active stretch, so we're trying to stretch more. And two. And now come up. Now your legs are straight. Interlace your fingers behind your spine. Chest right open. Shoulder blades together and arms straight. And forward fold. So go slowly. It can be like this, but keep your legs straight. Or you can slowly on the exhale push yourself a little bit down. So if it's too wide for you, you can step a little bit forward and go all the way down. Let's do this in the dynamic way. So inhale as you move a little bit up and exhale as you move all the way down. Again, keep your eyes open here, but relax and straight. Keep going, long and deep breath. And now as you exhale, go all the way down and stay here for a few more breaths. Bring your arms higher. And all this time you try to keep your palms together. The soles of your palms are together. It can be like this anywhere. And two. And three. And four. And five. Slowly come up. Release the lock. Well done. So now we will move to warrior three. And let's do this with a lock again. It will just make you more focused. So bring your left leg up, your body moves forward, and now your body is parallel to the floor, legs straight, and look down. It's okay if you fall down, you can come up again. If it's too much for you, you can always hold on to something. 
to your sofa, to your table, to the chair. You can always use your arms. But the traditional one, you don't use anything. You just stand on one back. Keep going, keep breathing. And please don't close your eyes here for now. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Well done. And now, if you can, place your palms on the floor and try to bring your leg up even higher. So if you're holding into the sofa, it will be easier for you. So you, <laughs> so you bring it up, 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 all the way up. If you need to shake your legs, shake it. And again, so this exercise is called vertical split and it needs <laughs> your strength. So I know it's not easy if you do this first time, but you will learn. Every time will be better. So just throw your left leg up. So your leg is very active here, especially your glutes and your leg should be straight and you should kick it up. So do this a few times. And release. Well done. <laughs> it was enough for this side. So now we will change. Inhale, arms up. Arch your back. Stretch your arms over your head. And now exhale as you bend forward. Stretch forward. You can keep your legs a little bit bent if it's easier for you. If not, grab your ankles and go all the way down with a stretch. Step to the plank pose. Ten seconds here. Do your best. And now Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Oh, this is my favorite one. So arch your spine here, the more you can, the better, by pressing your arms, by pressing your pelvic floor down and opening up your chest to the sky. So you have three spots here, your pelvic floor pressing, then your spine arched and your chest opening up to the sky. Can bend your elbows a little bit if you need it. Beautiful. And last time. And now downward facing dog. Bring your hips all the way down, all the way up. Heels down, head down, palms pressed. And just stay, close your eyes, deep lotus breathing. Perfect. And now bring your left leg all the way up. Ideally, your legs should be straight. And again, open your hips. Keep your leg up. Engage your glutes here as you bring your left leg all the way up. And deep yogic breathing. Try to bring your head. Down 
onto the floor. Visualize white light coming from the sky to your fingertips. And now open your palms and stretch forward. Building straight line from your right heel to your fingertips. slowly release so now your legs are straight you can have a short step forward and now interlace your fingers the soles of your palms together shoulder blades together chest wide open and now we go forward all the way down keep your legs straight And let's do this in the dynamic way. So as you inhale, you go all the way up or a little bit up. As you exhale, you press down. As you're ready, go all the way down and stay here with deep yogic breath. And three. And two. Exhale to your maximum. And one. Slowly come up. Well done. So now we will go to warrior three. And again, if you use your sofa, just use your sofa and bring the right leg all the way up so that your body is parallel to the floor. If you don't use the sofa, we interlace our fingers again behind your spine, chest open, and slowly bring your right leg up. And again, you might feel that one leg is less stable. It, it will be better with time. Just do the best you can. And what helps me, you can bend your left leg a little bit so that you can, you know, coordinate yourself, find the balance. Look down and breathe. A little bit more. Well done. And now the next one. So your palms down to the floor and you go to vertical split, bringing your right leg all the way up. Yeah, all the way up. Or you can stay with the sofa over the chair and the same. Try to bring your right leg as high as possible. At the same time, you can lower your head. So let's do this. And I know it's painful, but you will feel amazing after it. After your body opens up, especially your hips, you will feel that your limbs are so light, are so active. You will have, you will feel like you're 10 years younger after your hips will open. So let's do this a little bit more. Whew. 
and two, and slowly release, step back. Well done. So now one more. We will do the warrior two. It's also such a great exercise to open the hips. So we will start with the left side, so your hips open to the left side. So <laughs> Right leg is bent, arms completely open. So you stay with the breathing like me. Inhale fully and exhale. As you bend your right leg a little bit more, open your hips a little bit more. Arms straight at all times. So let's practice it together. And exhale through the mouth, as you can see. Keep going. Deep breathing, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. And last time, inhale and exhale. Now bring your right leg up, now bring your right arm up. Left arm to your leg and stretch. It can be something like this or like that, where you completely stretch your right side. And continue breathing with your mouth open. And two. And one. Beautiful. Now one more stretch, so your elbow to your knee and the stretching up with your left side. And two, and one, well done. So now you bring your left knee to the floor and it can be very easy or very challenging depending how far you want to go right now so interlace your fingers and arch your spine so normally people do something like this and this is completely fine we will stay here by the way for 30 seconds so you choose what you like if you want to go more stretching so then lower your hips and arch your spine even more and you should feel active stretch with your arms as I'm holding your arms and I'm pulling it back. Keep breathing. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Well done. Now bring your hips up and grab your right elbow like this. And now you rest your head on this elbow and you feel that now your chest is open here. So let's stay a little bit longer. It's such a nice stretch. If it's too much for you to stand in like this, you can always just sit down and stretch in the kneeling position. But this one is much better because it opens the hips, gives the strength to your legs. So keep stretching. Your elbow is up. Well done. And release. Super good. So now we're doing the same with the right side. So now hips open to the right side. So your left, uh, left knee is bent, right leg is straight and warrior two.
and you should feel your inner thighs. If you're not feeling it, spread your legs more, open your hips more. two and one well done now stretch to the left so your right palm is sliding down and left arm is all the way up or all the way over your head if you need to relax your knees you can always shake them and come back release and again if you need to shake your knees you can shake them if it's too much for you right now and now stretch into the left side so left elbow to your left knee and stretch all the way up this stretch is also possible when your arm is reaching up or forward And ideally, your body should be in a straight line. This is what we want to achieve, but any variation now is good. Okay, now release. So now you bring your left leg down. And we will do the same stretch. So inhale as you bring your arms up. Arms straight, elbows locked. And stay if you feel it's easier for you to breathe through your mouth. If you want to go deeper, open your hips and press them all the way down. Well done, and now the variation. This time you grab your right elbow, right elbow is in the middle, so your head is resting on this elbow, and again, spinal arch. Arch is a little bit more, keep your chest open. release well done so beautiful so now it will get easier because we will be sitting so let's start you sit down on your hips you spread your legs all the way forward and by the way if it's not working for you you can sit on the pillow because we will grab our toes our ankles and do forward forward bend so let's do it let's start dynamically so you can grab your, uh, even your knees or your ankles, what you can reach. And exhale as you slowly press down. Inhale, extending spine up. And exhale as you press down again. Keep your eyes closed and do this on your own slowly, extending your limits.
And now just stay down and go deeper with your focus, with your breath, with your stretch. Ideally, you should lie down on your legs. So visualize that you're lying down on your legs, touching your knees with your chest, your, your thighs with your belly. And your toes are pointed out. Keep your mind completely empty. And a little bit more. Breathe deeper, expand, intensify your breath. As you exhale, you're squeezing your abs in, doing the stomach vacuum. As you inhale, you stretch your spine all the way forward. And a little bit more. And now fully inhale, fully exhale, all the air out and hold, suspend your breath, go a little bit deeper to the stretch and just stay. If you can do the stomach vacuum by squeezing your abdomen, your inner organs into your spine. much for you you can come back to your breath and release if you want to stay a little bit longer a few seconds left and release slowly come up well done so one more now it's easier it gets easier and it gets to shavasana so lie down one leg is straight, one leg is up, and you grab your left leg, which is up, and you try to squeeze it all the way up yourself. I love it because it's such a, an amazing stretch. It helps you to open your hips and it also works on your abs. So do the best you can. If you want more stretch, bring your chin up to your knee. If your leg is bent, it's completely fine. So do the best you can. Again, as you see, we do a long stretching today, which is so restorative. It releases so much tension and opens our body to receive more energy, opens our energy channels. So just enjoy and stay a little bit longer than usual in every stretch. Well done, and now you bend your knee and you open your hips to the left. So just open your left leg to the left with your knee bent. If you want, you can keep your legs straight. It's a little bit more intense and just keep your hips open. You can use your arms to press your knee a little bit down. And now we're changing the legs, so now the right leg up, grab it, and do your thing. So you can bring your chin up, keeping your legs straight, this is our idea.
you just stay here. The longer you stay, the more flexible you become. So we have a few more seconds here. And release. So now open your right leg to the right. Bend your knee. Grab your knee. Yeah. And just relax. If you open, you can keep your right leg straight and just bring it to the right side. Like, and like this. It's a bit different one. But you will feel your hips open. So this is as a variation. You grab your toes. Leg straight and you bring it to the right. Or as I said, just open your knee to the right. Well done. And the last one for today, get stretch. So you grab your right knee with your left palm and you twist to the left oh nice your shoulders remain on the floor and your right arm is extended to the right and your head is turned to the right And now come to the center and change the side. So now your right leg is extended down. You grab your left knee, twist to the right, look to the left. And now come to the center and stay for a little bit more for beautiful Shavasana. So if you need to go, just stay for one or two minutes. If you have time and you, mean you want to restore your energy, stay for the entire Shavasana. Just lie down, relax, keep your mind empty and focus at the energy which is flowing through you with every inhale and every exhale. So just keep your palms open up Back straight and relax.
Now come back to your body. Stretch your arms all the way out over your head. As you take a stretch and a big breath in, and now grab your knees, rock them side to side. Bring your body back to motion. And rock and roll back and forth. Once you're ready, sit down, cross your legs, keep your eyes closed. We will finish this practice and as you know, we always finish the practice. So bring your palms to the heart center. Connect to your heart, to your intention, which we said in the beginning of the practice. And now Feel the happiness, the love, the joy, and direct all your beautiful energy to your dream, to your intention. To see a lot of happiness in this life, a lot of love, a lot of kindness. And now spread and send this kindness, this beautiful energy we accumulated today, to your day, to your loved ones people who are in need right now. Feel that now your potential is limitless. You are centered, you are present, and from this point of full presence, of full knowingness, you start and continue your day. Open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining this class. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave your comments below. How did you like it or what you didn't like? Normally I give much faster classes, but I know that you need to restore your energy right now. And this is how I feel as well. But sometimes this extra, you know, super fast speed doesn't help. And that you need some times when you need to, you know, come down, come back to yourself and find the balance again. And this is when longer practice is needed with more stretching, more breathing, as I did with you today. So do this every time when you feel weak, when you feel that you cannot do anything. Do this practice because it will be your guide. It will guide you to your energy, you know, to healthy life and to your inner truth. Namaste.